focus on them curses, but the promises put fire in your soul. Fire, fire, fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire in my soul. So much fire. Fire, fire, fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire in my soul. Shut up in my bones. Fire, fire, fire. Fire in my soul. The promise is to die, I never fire in my soul. What's this? Got y'all all turned up. Tell me what's going on. So many Israelites such you know they are and preparing to go home. Wait a minute, I thought this was home. But you speak of another place. We in the land of our enemies in captivity, but the gathering is taking place. Fire! Fire, fire, fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire in my soul. So much fire. Fire, fire, fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire in my soul. Shut up in my bones. Fire, 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 fire in my soul. The promise is to die, I never fire in my soul. Ever since I woke up and finding what belongs to me, I want my crown and my robe like the saints of old, my legacy and history. Wait a minute, I thought you were the children of slaves, but you're telling me you're kings and queens. We the chosen of y'all, the apple of his eye, the original royalty. Fire, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. fire in my soul. So much fire, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. fire in my soul. Shut up in my phone. Fire, 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 fire in my soul. The promise is to die, I never put fire in my soul. Rebirth, fire in my soul, all flames in the members. Ruach, containing our members. Ruach, you remind you, cause it shut up in our bones. Can't sleep so deep like it came in syringes. Why? Cause our king is tremendous. Most high, zero contenders. Hallelujah, Abaya, Yahusha, Yahuda, Yahuda. Get them hands up in the sky. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Check, check, check. One, two, one, two, one, two. Check, one, two. Let everybody let me know if you can hear and see me. Let me know if you can hear and see me pretty clear. If you can hear and see me, say con, yes, one, any of them. Let me know that you can hear and see me. All right, that's good. All right, I think enough of y'all said y'all can hear me pretty clearly. Uh, great, great. All right, so uh, first thing, we're going to run through a, a couple of things. We're not going to keep you on here long. Let me cut that down. We're not going to keep you on here long, but we're going to run through 
a couple of things. First thing I want to do, if you haven't seen the feast days for 2020, I'm going to show that real quick. Uh, you go on the Hebrew Nation building, we have it up. But I'm going to show the feast days for 2020 so you can see those. Just in case you haven't, that put Passover on April the 21st at sunset, you know, in the evening. Then the Feast of Eleven Bread from April the 22nd through the 28th. Um, and as you can see, it's there. Uh, if you don't have this and you want to email to you, just hit me up at HebrewNationBuilding at gmail.com. HebrewNationBuilding at gmail.com. And then you'll be able to see this. So I just want to let everybody know uh, the dates that we have for that. And real quick, real quick, I want to get everybody an update. An update on the, on the movie. Um fundraiser I'll let you see where we at man it's amazing let me pull that slide up real quick uh do we are you there yes sir all right can y'all hear her just start talking to me to make sure they can hear you testing one two testing 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 i tell you what i got to get off there so it don't seem like it's straining let me get off of the last. Okay. Again, can you say something to we don't so I can make sure they can hear you? Testing one two. Testing. Is it loud and clear? Let us sister know. Yeah. All right, let me do something real quick. Go ahead. So we're gonna give y'all a quick update of where we at. With the uh the movie it's amazing we appreciate what everybody been doing let me put this in real quick y'all hold tight for one second hold tight So, we wanted to show everybody uh, where we at right now with the fundraiser. All right, let me go to it. Claiming the throne update. Let me know if y'all can still hear what I'm saying. You can still hear what I'm saying. I got that up. Let me know if you can still hear me talking. I want to make sure that the volume is still good, even with the PowerPoint going. So if you can hear me, uh, put one yes or con. Or can. <laughs> All right. So, y'all, listen, man. Man, the most high. We thank each and every one of y'all so far that's been given. Uh, we're going to be able to show you as far as the things that we purchased uh, from this um I want to let you know at the cash app is $12,619 that has been given in three cents. The PayPal is $9,195.77 that was given. The GoFundMe is $3,924. And then we have to check uh, the P.O. box to make sure. As of December the 23rd, we have collected $25,738.80. Of the goal of $35,777, y'all. Y'all, all we have is $10,038.20 left to go. Man, we appreciate everybody for their giving and what they've been doing. Uh, we want to go through some of the slides so you can see uh, what everything is uh, going towards. We did an itemized list. And because we're trying to get the movie done before Passover 2020, and we was asking to see if we can get this done before the end of December, and we uh, we we moving towards that, right? And this is the itemized list of different things that we said we was going to need, which was B-roll camera, lenses, teleprompter, tripod, uh, camera slides, animation balance, uh, Ursher, license, sound, micro uh, mic system. 
why come creative suit sweet suits? But well, Josh put this together, so he he know more about it than me. Soccer falls, Microsoft Surface Pro, music score, honorariums, rendering, mixing, and sound equipment. Um, so you guys, I want to give you the areas where you can give again. You know, towards this movie, um, these are the avenues that you can give to, and we just praise the most high because man, we almost there. Only got about 10,000 more to go and 38 cent to go, man. And uh, the most I just been amazing the way that he has put on everybody spirit to give towards what we're doing. Again, this is not nothing that we can do by, uh, by ourselves and by all us collectively giving uh, and working towards the goal um, together, man. We can do better um, and at a much faster rate doing it together. And I'm telling you, this movie is going to be amazing again. The, the goal and stuff that we put in there one just for this movie, for, for future movies and things to come. Because we will be doing um, America's Dark Past next. will be probably the next uh, movie and stuff that we work on. But at least we'll have the stuff that we need um, to get these things done. Again, uh, we, we're still not waiting. We're just uh, we working. Uh, with the equipment that we have now, we have been able to purchase some stuff and then we will show you guys once uh, everything get done, um, where your money went towards the, the itemized list and how we got that thing done. And man, the movie is going to be amazing. Uh, we still have a few places that we have to travel, um, now a few places that we have to travel in order to get, um, shots and scenery like Israel Hill. We still have to go down to Savannah and get, um, do the shooting, um, at the church and one of the people that's going to be in the documentary is actually cousins with the person that was pastor of the church that uh, built the church in Savannah, the uh, church that has the Hebrew letters that was built by our ancestors and had the Hebrew letters on the, on the pew. And we also um, have to go, we're going to go to, um, I think it's Charleston, um, uh, down there where the, the Geechee farmers in the, uh, the Geechee Islands and stuff like that, where a lot of the Hebrew, Hebraic things happen. So we still have to do some of that traveling and get some of the equipment. And all this is going to go towards making that happen. So again, we appreciate everybody uh, for, you know, what they've been doing. they giving. Uh, nothing is too small and nothing is too big to get this thing done. So we send all praises to the Most High for your work. Again, every time that y'all then gave to the ministry, you, you'll be able to see the fruits of your labor and the fruits of your giving from the time that we asked for the give towards touring, um, that we was able to go and set up, um, set up uh, assemblies and stuff like that, uh, the travel, the air flights, uh, the, the transportation, the travel, all that within two years uh, we, we was using, which I was giving us to be able to go to these different cities, set these places up and um, go from place to place. And now we have about, I think, 11 to 12 assemblies um, from that, you know, to be able to do these feast days in these places given to us that um, y'all gave towards the, um, uh, what was the Joseph project and, um, we, we showed video, we showed the proof of where the money went. We showed videos also, too, of the people receiving um, what we gave to them, um, the Bibles, the um, things that they're able to um, make their congregations, you know, uh, functional. And they sent videos. They uh, let us know that they received it, that they appreciated it. Uh, uh, we had a committee that was in charge of the dis disseminating of the uh, the funds to these different places in Africa, so all over West Africa to East Africa and some down in South Africa. We was able to send income to give them the things that they needed to make it functional, and you guys gave towards that. Also, you gave towards the Bahamas relief, and then we showed the videos and the proof of where that money went and them's videos of them uh, taking the money, taking the food, taking... Uh, the things that they needed in order to make them, you know, uh, be able to live, be able to survive, give them some of the needs that they uh, that they needed and that they have. So we just appreciate everything that y'all give. Every time you give towards something, man, the most I always produce something. So now with this movie, if you really look up how much it takes to do real documentaries. Now, I want to say this. This is why it's a difference between just dropping it on YouTube versus actually doing a movie because right now the youtube page is set, uh, shut down even though we put the fair use um, things up before the videos but it's shut down because when you're doing the teaching or anything if you put 
any type of material that you're teaching from that's copyrighted, then they got the right to shut it down. So they picked a few of our videos in the past um, and then shut us down for three months, right? Unless we would have bought the right to that and then put it in a video. So this is why we have to do this and why the cost is going to be, uh, we had an area of a cost for those uh, copyrighted materials and different things like that. So we can buy all the pictures, buy all the documents, buy the things that we needed in order so we won't get shut down. Uh, when we put it on these different avenues and, and these different theaters and these different places that we have the rights to these things. So um, we're able to get it done under this budget um, that the Most High has given us now. And we're going to be able to make this thing work. That's a lot that goes into this. And me and Josh and some and Dwayne and some of the other ones, we, you know, we're working hard as we can to try to get this done before uh, Passover. So again, if you, um, you, if you don't see us answering emails, if you don't see us answering calls, if you don't see us breaking off and doing other things, because we got to focus in on getting this done and getting this Passover um, thing done and prepared. Uh, the secretary been working so hard trying to get everything for Passover uh, right and in line. So right now we're in focus mode. So we apologize if you have been if your email ain't been answered, if your phone ain't been, all that type of stuff, we in focus mode, so we got to get this done. We got to get this finished. So, anything that you want to say to that, the weeder while we on? Okay. Let me make sure I got that off because I don't want to. You sounded a little choppy. Can you say something now? The weeder? Testing, testing. You might have to cut your whatever that is in the back. If you're watching it, you might have to cut your volume oh, off. It's because they're hearing that echo. Can you hear me? That's better. Testing, testing. That's better. Okay. All right. So, we want to show you that we're not far from that. And now, we want to go ahead into the um, PowerPoint for Passover. The PowerPoint for Passover. Um, again, like we already said, Passover for twenty for twenty twenty, will be April the twenty first. Uh, we'll start at six p.m. April the twenty first, and then we'll go until that um, that Saturday, April the twenty fifth. Now we do ask you to finish out in your congregations together when you go back to finish out and gather on that last day. Uh, most definitely, we want you to do that. Um, but we couldn't fit all the days in, and you'll see why in a minute. All right, so let's go to Passover. The PowerPoint, y'all can't, let me see, can y'all see? Can you see the PowerPoint now? Can y'all see it? I'm going to move and make sure that y'all can see it if I move over. Okay. All right. All right, so Passover 2020, uh, of course, the, the first night we're going to go through, um, there'll be the Passover dinner where we'll have the lamb, the bitter herbs, and the um, the wine um, that we'll have or the um, for the first day and unleavened bread. And we will go over, um, we'll have me and Joshua do a lesson, a short lesson, you know, well, not the wine, but we'll have some drink there. <laughs> So we'll go over these things, pass over the significance and different things of that. We'll probably have, um, you know, grapefruit juice or something like that, um, similar. But we'll go over those things and talk about it, go over the ceremonial part of it. Of it. We'll talk about it. We're going to be talking about it leading all the way up to it. But the whole week, we're going to be dealing with Passover. In each lesson, uh, we'll be talking about this, these things and some of the mores from different um um, congregation to be bringing forth things to, and you'll find out more of that as we go. But it'll be a five um, five day conference where that first night we're going to actually do um, the dinner. We'll talk about, we'll do uh, a lecture on it and um, honor it the way we're supposed to honor it. And then uh, later on that evening, um, after we got done with all those things, then we'll actually do the reclaiming the throne screening, then where everybody will be able to see. 
um, the screen at that time that night. Um, then we have the Sounds of Rebirth concert going to happen also during this time. And they will end at the um, Shabbat gathering on the last day. Now, let's go to the next slide. Let's go into what is going to be for the registration. And then we'll go into uh, where we, uh, we, we're not going to go into exactly where it's at because we have to be mindful and careful when it comes to uh, location. You'll get it in your registration once we register. So these are the registration fees for 2020. It's $135 for adults for 13 plus, $78.50 for children, for the 12 and zero, uh, the three will be free. Um, we're going to allow the secretary to kind of give us, you know, a breakdown of these things or just uh, understanding of um, the venues, uh, the catering, the audio rentals and different things like that. So, yeah, Shalom, Sam. Um, I hope that everyone can hear me clearly. So, yeah, the uh, registration fees for adults is $135. Children, $78.50. Infants, zero to three are free. However, if your child requires a meal, then I suggest that you go ahead and purchase the children's ticket 4 through 12. Um, your fees are going to cover the venue cost. Um, we have two floors designated for our youth um, to be able to handle upward of 1,200 people this year. Um, the catering services, we will have um, the formal Passover meal in addition to a Shabbat uh, lunch. The location, I see that. Uh, it's going to be in Atlanta, Georgia. We will not announce the location. During the live, you will receive the venue's um, information after you've completed your full registration. Sister Tamla, um, registration will open tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock Central Standard Time. Also included in the fees is, are, are the, uh, the cost for the audio-visual rentals for exhibitor services. Uh, these are the union workers and laborers that have to come in and set up everything. So, yeah, this virtuous standard, it is very reasonable um, to do it at this cost. But at any rate, we still want to be transparent about the, the price and just let you guys know this is where your money's going. Um, to pay for the services and the venue and to bring you something, you know, pleasing visually. The, the aesthetics of this place is amazing. So I am uh, going to turn it back over to Pastor Mo, if, unless you have anything else for me to add. Yeah, so we're going to give you a view of some of the things that you'll see there. We'll come back um, to the registration call. So. Um, again, this is how things going to go. Uh, that Tuesday evening, you'll walk in with the meet and greet, the formal dinner. That's when we'll do the lecture and the ceremony and, um, you know, the teaching on what the um, bread represent, what the lamb represent, what the, uh, the, what the wine or the blood would represent. Uh, so you can have a full understanding of what the Passover lamb is and what that represents. Um, and then after all that, we would do the reclaiming of the throne screening. Uh, with that later on in the evening, then we'll have, if we have time, we'll do question and answer discussion after that. Wednesday will be um, praise and worship and a lecture. Thursday again will be praise and worship and a, and a lecture. Also, too, that Thursday we'll probably have all the rebirth praise and worship teams have an opportunity to bring forth a praise. And then we'll have a lecture going on after that. That Friday we'll do a Sounds of Rebirth concert. So all the rebirth. Artists will be there, you know, just like how we did last year to do a concert. Um, and then we have post-concert mixer and different things we'll be doing. And then Saturday on that 25th, it'll be praise and worship again. Uh, then we do a, a Shabbat gathering. But um, we'll really be climaxing that day. And then we'll do the second screening of Reclaiming the Throne, just in case some people missed it for some reason on the um, on the, the first night. And then we'll conclude the conference. All right. Let's give you a visual of how the place uh, will be seated and how it could be set up. Um, that'll be the theater style setup. Uh, this will be the setup from Wednesday all the way to Saturday. 
um, on Saturday, me on um, Tuesday night, it'll be set up like a um, banquet style. Um, this is the one of the floors, so we had to go downstairs for the theater setting up, and then in that setting up will be uh, that's more on the theater setting up of how the place will look and how to be. It's more looks and set up that way. This is how the um, catering, you know, and the uh, setup would be. And all that is, like I said, included in that price. Because, again, um, we have to pay for the catering. We have to pay for the decorations. We have to pay for the equipment because we're not using our own equipment. We got to pay for the people that's going to be working, that equipment that they provide. Um, the, the food that we, like I say, the catering for the first day, first night, and then um, the small catering for that Saturday night. All is included in the cost, and then we have to pay for being there every day. Every day, there's a um, a, a standard price that we have to pay uh, for that. So this is why we tried to make it as reasonable as we could in order to pay for these things. This will be how the event uh, registration and different things will be set up. Also, before I go here, let me go show you a video of the entrance. Let me see. Yeah, the video of the entrance. Celebrate no Christmas, no. Don't give us no email to take it. those people close. Uh, this is pretty much uh, the entrance of where you'll be, you be coming in at. And next thing we'll show you is just the space. To be able to fit because we didn't want no problems this year with spacing, not having enough space. Having it is so we had a lot of people telling us that they was coming, you know, from somewhere everywhere. So we wanted to make sure that we have picked a place that can accommodate um, the amount of people that say they desire to be there. We didn't want to come up short. So to show you how beautiful that is, and of course, you know, we're gonna have it decorated real nice and set up real nice, and um, it's gonna be nice. So it's a gorgeous place with. Uh, a lot of room, a lot of room. Of course, they was building something and doing something at the time when we went there to uh, see them in Atlanta. So, it's a lot of space. We didn't want to come up short in the sense of um, not being able to, too many people coming, not being able to, to accommodate it. And y'all so see what? By doing that, you know, we had to sell the price where. At. Everybody can come get and be enjoyable and be have so and so. Yeah, make sure we got enough room for everybody that plan on making it. Everybody that plan on coming. So I'm just trying to give you a visual of what it looks like. You know what's possible. That's what we're trying to do. So going back to the PowerPoint. So I'll let the reader take over here about the payment options on how you can do it. Um, I read it first and then I'll let her talk. Um, it says the payment option payments can be made in full using either the PayPal or debit card. And then a payment plan is also available but must be selected manually, a payment plan method during checkout. This process will allow three equal payments via uh, invoice a rebirth of a nation reserves the right to revoke or refund registration fees for any mitigating reason for any person at any time so that's again if we have somebody that have registered and then they get they just we find out that they crazy and they insane uh, we got a right to revoke it and uh, move forward from there uh, so I'm gonna let the to talk about the payment options and where they can go uh, when it be live when it becomes live I see a question, large place, where you have more than one or two percenters. 
Um, so on this, so the actual photos that we showed with all of those projectors, all of those um, monitors will be placed pretty much the same way we are showing you of our another setup just to give you a visual, but our setup will be done very similar, okay? So um, back to paying the option. This year we are adding um, a payment plan because I know some of us have large families. Um, and in the event that you desire to select a payment plan, um, you must choose manual payment upon your checkout process. So after you've gone in and you've registered each individual person who's going to attend, after everything is put in your card and then you move on to the checkout, you're going to see a manual payment option. That's going to prompt an invoice system um, to give you your first payment due, your second payment due, and your third and final payment. Okay? Um, you do not have to select the payment plan if you are able to pay all of your registration fees up front and at once. That's wonderful, but some of us with larger families and other commitments may need to take a little bit of time. So I've set up this system to be able to accommodate our family with that. Um, so yeah, any questions in the chat regarding that? And again, Rebirth of a Nation reserves the right to revoke and refund any registration fee for any mitigating reason or circumstance for any person or person at any time. Um, if it comes to our attention that, you know, we have people who um, have been actually depressed before, who um, have been disinvited for whatever reason, um, you know, we will refund anything that you've um, committed towards Passover. Now, on another note, if for some reason you are unable to attend but you've paid in full, the policy is all um, registration fees are non-refundable. They're not transferable. Oh, you know, can my cousin come instead? I'm not going to be able to come. No. We have upwards of over a thousand people attending this year. We will not be able to accommodate those singular requests like that. Um, so you cannot transfer and it's non-refundable. Um, but we are putting the disclaimer there. If we see someone, I'm not going to say who's not welcome to be there, but um, if there has been any issues, you will not be able to attend um, registration, okay? So, I hope I answered that. Will those be automatically drafted? Um, in regards to the payment plan, you will have an opportunity. Um, you will receive a reminder invoice saying, hey, your next payment is coming up. Um, I don't know if I want to turn on that function where it's going to automatically draft. I would just like to be able to let the invoice go out and that it be paid by that due date. Um, if you are unable to make the payment by the due date, please send an email um, because otherwise um, it'll get you just kind of, I don't want to assume that your intent is to not finish paying or that you change your mind and you don't want to come. Communication is key. So, um, please communicate with us whatever's going on with your situation. That's why we're off the payment plan. But if we are setting up this registration, we do expect you to um, follow the order and the guidelines that we set so that everything runs really smoothly for us on this side. And I'm going to turn it back over to Pastor Morris, unless somebody has a question for me specifically. All right, again, y'all, listen, please. No, 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 no. It's not 135 per day. I think somebody asked that. Um, no, your registration is 135, and that's going to take you from the time you get there until, the, um, until that Saturday. That's for the whole week. Yeah. 
That's for the whole week. It is a flat rate fee. A flat rate fee. And uh, Dewita, if you want to just give them, just in case they just want to know, as far as the just the building and the um, the building, not the the building, what it equal out to every day and the um, catering. Yeah, sure. So um, our estimated cost just for the venue and catering services um, is approximately eighty thousand dollars. That's not including. Again, the labor, that's not including exhibitor services. Um, I see someone asking about a vendor table. It depends on the interest. We're going to get to that, so just bear with us. Um, just give us a few more minutes to get you know, to those last few slides. Um, the, in, in this call, in this estimate, it does not include the audio visual with all of those monitors so that wherever you're seated, you have an opportunity to see that there's nothing impairing your vision. Um, catering services, I think they've um, granted us a staff of about 20 to 25 people. Um, the labor on that is pretty intensive. And, you know, either we reach our full capacity or we're going to sell out whichever comes first. We'll, we'll discuss um, hotels later. Um, family. This registration does not include your hotel stay. There's nowhere that you could go for five days <laughs> and a conference for $135. No way. There's, I mean, this is the fee. But if you bear with us, we'll get through the PowerPoint, and it'll have information when the last day to register is. It'll have information um, about the payment plan. So just bear with us. Those, we're going to answer those questions. Um, we do have a list of hotels. That information will be published on the website. Um, so, and they're, they're trickling in because this time of year, a lot of the staff are unavailable to us to get all of the quotes and the RFPs back to me, okay? So we will put um, hotel information in the surrounding area, and those hotels, who are participating with a discounted rate, that information will be provided to you. Um, so, yes, Kim Goodman. Um, I'm going to turn it back over to Maureen Mo, unless there are other specific questions for me. Boom Church, yes, that is the price. It's not by day, it's a flat rate fee. So even if you come in Tuesday, and you stay through, you know, Saturday, it's 135. If you come in Friday and stay till Saturday, it's still 135. Those fees are non-refundable and non-transferable. When the money comes in, we're paying for the services. Yeah, so we have to we have to make those rates to, uh, the rates all the way through because um, dealing with the, um, the the prices and for the building it don't change it won't change unless people and we don't want to get into where people coming and ain't coming and then um, in the end we can't cover what they offering so this is why we set everything at a flat rate because they rate don't change we gotta uh, we gonna get hit for every head that comes there. Um, especially with the food and everything, so day rate is 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 solid to change. You know, it's not going to change. So this is why we have to have it like this. Um, again, that's still a real good price for the amount of days that is in the the space, the build, and everything that's going to be paid for overall. Um, with that, so um, again, now this year, family, please, please, please don't do this. Please don't wait to the last minute. Do it, do what you can, because uh, we can't do a whole lot of stipulations and stuff like we did, like we have done before. We got to be as strict as we can. We got to stay according to the protocol. So please don't call me about things when the time is passed um, to try to slide in there and 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 do that. Please just just stick with what we got. 
Uh, Kim is over the registration. She got a whole team with them for the registration. If you want any questions answered from now to then, don't send me no email and don't send Josh no email. Um, they're going to handle all of that because they got all that information. So please don't wait up until um, April and calling me and texting me and Josh and emailing us um, trying to get in on the back end. Uh, calling me and say let me let, let you in on the back door listen we can't do that we got to be as strict as possible because of how crazy the time is getting um y'all see the thing that happened in new jersey and how they're trying to pin us as uh, black hebrew israelites so we have to be mindful that's why we can't give you the specific place where it's going to be until you register and then you'll get it in their email because of we have to keep people safe and keep things in order overall and have the security there also too so please um, come, uh, the registration will be up. We're looking forward to having you there. We're going to have, I'm telling y'all, we're going to have an amazing time this year. It's going to be, um, just like all the other years, it's going to be off the chain, but we're looking for another level in the most high this year. So, um, just letting you guys know, this is the information. This is what it is. I'm going to show you real quick again, the, um, videos of the entrance and the videos of certain fee that be with all those things screen on the so stage and shoot from behind so every time we can either have, have it in a small place and have the price real low and then get complained about because we ain't got enough room they should have picked a bigger place they should have picked but then they don't look into what all it'll cost to accommodate the type of people so our idea was to get a place that's going to accommodate the type of uh, uh, accommodate the people that's coming we don't want it to be short at all uh, where everybody can come as many people as, as desires to come. Um, so everything will be fulfilled once we get done with our registration is closed, everything will be paid for, and we'll be able to finalize everything and move forward. So I just wanted to give y'all that. Uh, if you have any other questions, again, you can see that. You can email uh, Kim, uh, email the ministry at rebirthofanation.info at gmail.com. Rebirthofanation.info at gmail.com. And it, that it should give you all the rest of the information that you might need uh, with that. All right, so we got any other questions? You got anything else, uh, Kim? I do. Um, all of the registration information will be on the website. Entrance, the amount of 
interest or receipt for the, the sponsorship or, you know, having vendor tables and everything um, set up by exhibitor services, at that point we'll decide if it's feasible to have that. And this is really going to be solely based on um, the numbers that come in. Because otherwise it just wouldn't make sense. Because those fees, whatever that cost is, is going to be passed directly to you, divided by the number of vendors, you know, who are willing to participate. Um, so if you are interested in becoming a vendor or a sponsor for Passover 2020 in Atlanta, please email your interest to rebirthofanation.info at gmail.com. In the subject line, please put vendor or sponsor. That would be awesome. Thank you. All right, family, that's it. That's all we had uh, again. Uh, like she said, like the secretary said, that everything will be up prayerfully tomorrow, but she might sneak around and throw it up tonight. So just be checking. I, I and, <laughs> yeah, put your spider, put your spider senses on, and it might, it might, it might pop up. I'm just cutting up. But we want to show you that. Now the information up. You can share the information, send the information. I'm going to upload this up also to Hebrew Nation Building so everybody can understand. Again, like that, all all this information that we said will be on the website. Uh, so you can go there for the information. And then we will uh, send all your questions and concerns um, after registration is started. You know, and please watch the video. Send the video before you send your questions because it might have been answered in the video. All right. But we love y'all. We'll see you soon. Uh, shalom.